Hi everybody, hope you're doing really really well and having a fantastic week. I thought it would be really fun to do a couple of different videos um, to go through my sort of five minute quarantine routines, what I've been doing to keep myself sane, keep myself healthy um, during the lockdown. Um, so I'm going to touch on things like my uh, five minute breakfast routine, my breakfast club, um, five minute makeup routine, five minute kind of pamper evening, how I give myself a little bit of me time, stuff like that. Um, just, you know, for a bit, bit of fun and um, jump outside my comfort zone by jumping on, to on videos like this, especially with no makeup. This is a massive jump out of my comfort zone. Um, so yeah. I'm just going to go through today my five minute makeup routine and what I do, I don't wear makeup every day, I'm furloughed from work so um, a lot of the time I'm just sat in the garden chilling um, but if I just want to make myself feel a little bit more human or um, I'm jumping on a Zoom call for my business, whatever, something like that, then this is my go-to five minute routine. So I'm just going to jump straight in. Um, so the first thing I do, I've always already cleansed, moisturised and primed my skin, so it's all ready. Obviously my skin is far from perfect, um, I wish I had perfect skin, but hey, we can't have it all right. Um, so the first thing I do is I um, use our CC cream, which is a complex, a complex complexion um, cream, so if you can see that. I don't think you can. It's got SPF um, 30 in it, so it's fantastic, obviously, at the moment, while it's really, really warm. And I actually mix the light and the medium um, to get the right shade for myself at the moment. So I just use a little tiny bit, I'll show you. So I'm mixing the two colours. And I usually use light in the, um, in the winter. I'm just using a flat brush. I'm by no means a makeup artist, so I have no idea if this is the correct way to do it, this is what I do. Um, but I've only got a little tiny bit on my hand there. Just gonna mix that in, a little bit on there, and literally just rub it all over my face. There's no accuracy going on here, it's just what I do. So by no means a makeup artist. go down past your jawline, I mean I think that goes without saying but no one wants that line. So the complex complexion, the CC cream gives a really light coverage so if you wanted a heavier coverage then um, it would be a foundation that you want to be looking at but just for the summer, just for a real quick five minute um, glow, just a little addition. I'm just going for this. It's not going to give me a full coverage, and that's okay. I'm learning to love my skin as it is and not cover up every single imperfection because, you know, that's me. Now, this is something that I always go to because I've got really oily skin. Um, I do tend to get quite shiny, so not everyone would use this, um, but I just use a mineral powder foundation, which, again, just gives a real light coverage over the top but stops that sheen from coming through, if that makes sense. So again, I don't need very much to tap it off. Literally, that looks quite a lot on there, but it's not. A little tiny bit on the brush, and just dab that in, especially like focusing on my T-zone, where I get extra oily Oop, on my eyelids. Little tiny bit extra. So that then gives me my base, and then add a little bit of blush, I've got a little bit of blush in here, you don't need very much, this is so pigmented, it's why I absolutely love it, this will last about six to eight months, and I use it, well, when I'm working every day, so just a little bit on my cheeks, spring bit of colour. If I'm feeling like I need something a bit extra, then um, I do a bit of highlight and contour as well. I've got a highlight and contour palette 
but I'm not going to bother with that today. Um, and I might also sometimes put a bit of eyeliner just on my waterline, just to make my eyes pop a little bit more, but again, I'm not going to bother today. Um, so the next thing we're going with our um, eyebrow pencil. Oh, why that stays blurry? Never mind. Um, so it's got a, it's dual ended, so it's got a brush on one side, so I just brush my eyebrows up. And then on the other side, it's got the pencil, which is super, super creamy. I'm going to do this in the mirror because I can't do this on the, on the camera. Again, definitely not a makeup artist. I just do what feels right. And I'm quite lucky, I've got quite thick eyebrows anyway. Um, so I don't need too much of this, but it just gives a bit more definition. And I know people who um, have lighter eyebrows absolutely love this product. I don't know why, but my left eyebrow is more patchy than my right eyebrow. Don't know why. And then once I've drawn them in, I just go over again with the brush, just to even it out a little bit, just down. My eyebrows do end, like, too soon, they end like there, they meant to end there, but, yeah. So yeah, with a five minute, just, there you go, bit of definition. And then the last thing is our fantastic Speak Volumes Mascara. This is by far the best mascara I've ever used in my life, it's incredible. Again, I am quite fortunate, I do have quite long lashes anyway, but if you can see, you can't really see them when I've got nothing on. Um, so I'm just going to show you what one coat would look like, and then I'm going to put a second coat on to see, um, show you what that would look like as well. So, it goes on so nice and easy. Give it a little bit of a wiggle, I don't know why. I learned that on a YouTube video once. Oh, I'm going to neaten that up in the mirror. Okay, so that's what one coat looks like. And I haven't, I haven't double dipped, I haven't gone in again, so um, I'm just going to put a second coat on, let it dry for a minute, um, and then go in with a second coat, but I'm not going to put it back into the bottle. And there you have two coats. How fab is that? Amazing. So that's my five minute uh, makeup routine. So I say it doesn't give a full coverage because it is just a light CC cream. Um, but for the summer, that's my go-to. Literally takes five minutes. It's taken a little bit longer on this video just because I was talking through it. Um, I say sometimes, oh, I forgot something. Lippy. Come on girls, you can't go out without a lippy. This is a lip gloss. A really lovely pink sparkly, loads and loads of different shades, but I prefer the pinky colours. Again, this lasts forever. It lasts about four to six months probably, if you use it every day. How could you forget the lip? Moving it up. And there we go, ready to go for the day. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that and kind of got something out of it. Um, for me, it's just uh, jumping out of my comfort zone and doing something that's um, a little bit different. Um, but yeah, have a fantastic day, everybody, and I will speak to you later. Bye.